part of the torch down roof or roofing is to try to eliminate ponding, pooling water, water standing on a roof because people don't like it, it looks ugly, the roof doesn't look good when you see all the water sitting, like you can see this brown spot here, see all of this water sitting here, look at this, we clean this up now but this is water sitting here, so part of the thing I want to teach you is most roofers wants to build up a pond area. They want to add more foam uh, uh, insulation or foam or build this. They want to build this up. I have a different theory. I don't think you should build this up. I think you should remove this hump here. There's a drain underneath on the other side of that. You see there on the other side? There's a drain. I think remove the foam or the built up already here so it if you lower if you lower this section then you empty this pond you don't have to build this up to go over this hump you just have to lower this hump to empty the pond all right and that's what we're gonna do right now okay so what we do is we determine the lowest part of the roof or, or of the pond and it's somewhere here where's the lowest part Lewis? somewhere here Somewhere here is the lowest part. From here to that AC unit where the drain is on the other side, this is the lowest. So we're gonna take away some of the insulation and roofing underneath this. And I'm gonna show you. Okay, here we go. <coughs> All right, take a chalk line. Maybe closer here, we don't have to go that far to us. Maybe here, right? So this is what we're gonna do, right here. Right there. Come closer to us, come closer. Come on. Yeah. Right there, I think there. Is that good enough? Nah. Is this maybe here? Huh? I think, no, the water is stuck all, all, all this place around. The water was sitting where, where the most here, is there? Right in the middle. So shall we do a, a square here? Huh? Let's do that. Move over this way. Uh-huh. Okay. Move here. Right there. Huh? Better? Yeah. Square? Okay. So, square. Right. Square here. So, so we follow this line maybe? Yeah, follow this line. Okay. And, and then, then here we're gonna do it at the end, not all the way. Right on that line? Huh? Follow the maybe follow this line? Wait there. Right there? Okay. Snap it. Okay? And then follow this line here. Up to here. Up to here. We're gonna take this square out. So water is gonna come here into the channel. But with the channel is just like a little water. Yeah, we're way. gonna take it out. You, you yeah, we're gonna take all of this out. Oh, okay. Yeah. But I want the straight. I want to take this all of this lower down here. Chalk line. Right. To right to here, okay? okay? So you got this line, okay? So I, I don't want to go further. I want to take all of this out all right the way. Here. Yeah, all the way, okay? That's it, square. Just cut it out. So we decided to take this whole pond out. <laughs> Look this. This pond area. This is area. So we're going to take this out and then lower it in this area so i want to show you about something else while we're doing this this is an epdm roof people say you don't screw down the lift up you don't put the screws down you're going to have people on this video say why don't you put any screws down because some roofers they are taught like that and they say there's a lift up uh the lift up what they call it uh, wind lift up wind uh, uh, can lift up the roof and take it off i'm going to prove you they are wrong. 
You cannot lift up a roof when it lies flat on a roof. On a, on a, on a, on a roof. I'm going to show you why. <coughs> okay, cutting this. Oh. Look at this roof. It just comes up from nothing. The wind should have lifted it up if that was possible. It never stuck. It just peels off like nothing. EPDM roof, look how thin it is, and it doesn't last, okay? So people say only lift up. I find these roofs that, 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 that are just floating. These membranes just float on the, on the roof sometimes because the nails are rusted, the, uh, there's nothing holding it down. In this case, there's a little bit of glue holding it down, but not much. But lift up, <laughs> any roof should be lift up. I'm going to give you the principle later on. Okay, taking this off, and now we're going to have to unscrew all these screws. All right, next step, take the foam off. So Lewis, Lewis, yeah? when you don't take all the foam out, I'm thinking I'm gonna chafer it a little bit. Okay. So the foam we're gonna chafer here, like make it slanted. Okay. So take it out this sheet, okay. and then we're gonna make the slant and take it all the way out there. Okay. Take this sheet out here, okay. and this all the way this way. I'm gonna get some screws, okay? Yeah. Okay. All right. I think I lost the videos that I was showing you how to make a channel here but let me just i'm gonna just show you i'm gonna just show you how it looks like anyway um so we made a channel here water was sitting all over here and so we made a channel here if you can i think you can see it from the other video and you can see where the leaves are so water is flowing down all the way down here to the drain underneath there so that's to show you that we removed all the water here it's a little water sitting here but this is nothing this is okay and uh but anyway so that's the channel now we made another channel we're still busy at it it rained and it went blue last night so we back at it today but this is what it looks like. The next channel right here. Look how nice that looks. All right. And uh, so now we got to do something else here. There's still water sitting in that area behind the guy. So now we're removing this to see what's going on here. Oh, look at this. So this is this has to be filled up. And this has to be removed so we can get into this channel. Okay. That's it. So we're lowering that. Okay. Good. All right. Now, well, that's my drain. That's good. 